I think it's pretty safe to say that because of the tempo, most of us would use both hands on the hi-hat if we had to play the following 16th note oriented groove. So what if we wanted to play that same groove but in a cross stick position? Of course we can break out a push-pull technique, something like this. So I'd love to sit here and say that I can hold that tempo all day long with as much power as I want, but if I were to say that, that would be a huge lie. So what I want to get into today is a sticking pattern that we can use as an alternative to push-pull. So the pattern is going to be left, right, right, right. And when we do this faster, the right hand is only going to come down once per beat. As opposed to with push-pull, we come down twice per beat. So we're going to use half the amount of energy. So let's go to the practice pad and I'll break down the technique. When we play this pattern slow, it's going to be all wrist. Wrist, 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 wrist. Left, right, 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 left, right, right, right. When we want more speed, the right wrist is only going to come down once. So the idea, if I were to just throw the stick down and extend my fingers, see the stick continues to bounce until it can't bounce anymore. So the idea is to avoid a loud, medium, soft kind of vibe. We want it to sound like hand to hand, but just with the right hand. So the way we're going to achieve this is I'm going to throw the stick down and the fingers stay out. The second note will bounce and then I'm going to pull it back so it, it hits my palm on the way up. And this way we're going to get evenness. So when we take the practice pad away and apply this to the groove, the left hand is going to alternate quarter notes between the hi-hat and the snare drum. So the left hand will play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the right hand will fill in the E and a. However, we don't have a lot of time to get the left hand over here when we do this. So what's really key here is you want to sneak the left hand underneath the right when we come back to the hi-hat. So that looks like this. So whether we're using a two-handed hi-hat pattern or this left-right-right right pattern, obviously we're leaving out a hi-hat hit every time we play the two and the four on the snare drum, whether it's cross stick or just hitting the center of the drum. So we've got three options that we can do. One is just to be okay with not playing the hi-hat when we play our snare. Option two would be to replace the missing note by tapping our foot. So that would be something like this. And the third option would be to lift the hi-hat on the AW of 1 and close on beat 2. And same thing, we can open on the AW of 3 and close on beat 4. So that looks and sounds like this. Alright, so now I'll play the groove from the beginning of this video, but in a cross stick position. And the snare is going to be playing on the AW of beat 2 and the E of beat three. So I don't have enough time to get back to the hi-hat. So this is a two bar pattern. What I'll do is on the first bar on beat three, I'll just tap my foot. And then on the second bar, I'll lift on the ah of two and close on beat three. So it sounds like this. So one thing I want to address is getting a really solid cross stick sound. Most drummers prefer to play with the butt end forward so that you get all that weight coming down to get a really nice sound. 
However, in this case, we do want to remain tip forward so that when we come back to the hi-hat, the sound will be very consistent with the right hand. So a great way to achieve a really fat sound with the tip forward is to first record yourself with the butt end forward. And then the goal is to match that sound but in a tip forward position. So I just start in my normal playing position and I'll just keep sliding the stick forward until my ear can't tell the difference between tip forward or butt end forward. Not only are these grooves super fun to play in the hi-hat, we can also move it over to the ride cymbal. So here's another cross stick groove demonstrating that idea. Alright, well that about does it. I hope that this video helps you and I'm just going to play us out and I think I'm going to pump up the tempo a little bit. So, see you on the next video.